Are you thinking of studying a STEM course in Australia in 2025 or 2026? Before you sign that offer letter, there's something very important to consider. What is your career path after graduation? Will your degree open real job opportunities and maybe even permanent residency? Let's break this down step by step. Post-study work rights, career scope, and PR pathways for STEM graduates in 2025. In Australia, STEM mainly covers four big areas. First comes science, that includes fields like biotechnology, environmental science, physics, and chemistry. Then we move into technology, things like IT, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and of course data science, which is booming right now. The third branch is engineering, covering civil, mechanical, electrical, and even mechatronics. And finally, we have mathematics, from statistics to applied mathematics and even specialized areas like actuarial science. So together, these four, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, make up STEM in Australia, and they're all linked to strong career and PR pathways. Almost all these fields are part of Australia's core skills occupation list and the medium and long-term strategic skills list. That means they are in high demand and eligible for permanent residency pathways. If you are doing a bachelor's or master's in STEM, here's what you can expect. A post-study work visa, subclass 485. Most STEM graduates receive three to five years of full work rights. Graduates from regional universities get an extra one to two years. You can work full-time in your chosen field, gaining valuable Australian work experience. Of course, keep in mind, visa fees have recently gone up. From the 1st of July, 2025, the fee is 2,300 Australian dollars. Plus, you need to budget for English tests, health checks, police clearances, and overseas health cover, usually adding a few hundred dollars more. So plan your finances well in advance. In 2025, Australia is facing serious shortages in STEM roles. Here are some hot sectors right now. Data science and cybersecurity, both government and private companies are struggling to fill these jobs. Engineering, especially in infrastructure, renewable energy, and construction projects, IT and software, cloud computing, AI specialists, and full-stack developers are in big demand. Biotech and health sciences, strong need for R&D and diagnostics, especially after COVID. And remember, many employers are actively sponsoring skilled migrants, especially through the Skills in Demand visa, subclass 482 which has replaced the old TSS visa. Here's the usual pathway for many STEM graduates. Step 1. Study a course that matches an occupation on the Core Skills List or MLTSSL. Step 2. Get your temporary graduate visa, 485, and gain Australian work experience. Step 3. Move towards PR through visas like Subclass 189, Independent Skilled, Subclass 190, State Sponsored, Subclass 191, Regional Pathway, Subclass 186, Employer Nomination Scheme, if you are sponsored. But one important point, most STEM roles require a positive skills assessment. So don't wait till the last moment. Plan early, understand the requirements, and stay on track. So if you're planning to study STEM in Australia, remember three things. Choose your course wisely. Target occupations listed on the CSOL or MLTSSL. Build your pathway from student to skilled migrant with clear long-term goals. Whether it is data science, civil engineering, or artificial intelligence, STEM can be your gateway to real career opportunities and permanent residency in Australia. Contact Bazu for personalized consultations.